Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're ready to do part three of this problem. Notice that the second lens now has a negative focal length of minus 20 centimeters. So it's a, it's a diverging lens instead of a converging lens. But first we need to find the first image. The first image can be found by saying S1 prime is equal to S1 F1 divided by S1 minus F1. Of course, that comes from simplifying the original lens equation. Plugging in the numbers, we get S1, which is the object distance of 20 centimeters, times the focal length of the first lens of 10 centimeters, divided by 20 minus 10. That gives us 200 divided by 10, which is 20 centimeters, which places the first image 20 centimeters to the right of lens one. So the image will probably look like this and at a distance of 20 centimeters, which means that it is 15 centimeters to the right of lens two. That gives the object distance a negative value. So image one now becomes the object for the second lens. So now we find the distance to the second image, S2 prime is equal to S2 minus F2 divided by S2, oh, not minus, this is times, S times F2 and S2 minus F2 in the denominator. All right, so S2 is now the object distance of the image one, which became object two relative to lens two. It's behind the lens, so that's a negative object distance, so minus 15 times the focal length of minus 20 divided by S2, which is minus 15, minus the minus 20. So this becomes a positive 300 divided by minus 15 plus 20 gives us a plus 5, which is a positive 60 centimeters, which means that image 2 is 60 centimeters to the right of lens 2. Is that one of the answers? Sure enough, right here, Q, final image, is 60 centimeters to the right of lens 2. And so therefore, for the third part, Q is correct. So this is the correct one right here, and this is correct right here. But obviously, we didn't get correct answers for part 1 and part 2, so we definitely know A is still the correct answer.